was pretty happy with how the bike went last night. So today's job is to clean all the corrosion off the engine. Not really the rust and parts that I can pull apart later anyway, but I want to get rid of this powdery corrosion off all the parts and then be able to gently wash the bike down, maybe degrease it and start it up to dry it out properly. Here is what we're going to use to clean the engine, bicarb soda. So hopefully all this stuff will come off pretty easily. Not really this stuff, that's to be cleaned by, um, you know, needs to be painted obviously, but just all this fairy sort of stuff, we'll give it a quick blast. But mainly the head and barrels and crankcases. Might even give the turbo a bit of a blast too. Here's a little gravity fed sandblaster that I'll be using. It's been a while, might need some more air. Let's push the boat out, drag the bike off the bench, do some blasting. So I wrapped all the electronics up in plastic, the air filter and the gauges. Let's get blasting. It's going to get a whole lot messier in a second. Watch how good this stuff works. Here's the dirty cast part of the frame. pretty good. This is a side I haven't done. And this is a side that I have done. Ready? So I've done a heap of bike car blasting. Basically, it's pretty good, but the Moisture in the air is clogging up the blaster, so I might need to get a water trap for the compressor so I can go for it again. But
Going to get some more bicarb soda, take the bike down the workshop and blast it some more. Back at the shops for some more bicarb. So we're down the bike shop. The compressor's a lot bigger, better. It's got water traps. Um, I cleaned out the, um, the coals with all their bicarb. Let's put another three kilos into it and see what happens. It's looking quite good. Um, yeah, I think I like that finish better than the polish for some reason. Apparently, besides cleaning your bike, you can also cook with this stuff. Didn't know that. Wow, what a mess. I'll blow him off now and get my hose down. Then dry it off big time. Yes. I'll blow it down, hose it off and then dry it and run it again to get all the water out of it. Just going to wet the concrete down so the dust when it blows off sticks to the water. Fully covered the back end with this bag. That stuff still got in everywhere. Hopefully it's not under the second bag. Pretty good. I had bolts in the fuel line, so that's alright. So I washed it all down. It's even got a bit of a shine to it, I think. It's pretty cool. Right, let's get him home, start her up, and dry him off properly. Well, there's another great day down the shed. Done the frame, engine, swing arm. It's all nice and clean. Looks really good. So, yeah, no, successful day. It's actually got a nice finish. I'd probably like that better than the uh, polished. It resembles what they had from the factory a bit closer. This was an original black frame model. Awesome. Thanks again for watching. Um, please subscribe and like, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time we have a play down the shed. Thanks again.